usapan natin ngayon ang how to prevent stroke ngayong bare months. Yes, nasa last quarter na tayo of the year. Pagpasok pala ng 2020, masyado ng maraming nangyari because of this COVID pandemic. And next September na, then October, November, and December. Meron tayong tinatawag na holiday season effect. By the way, this is Dr. Ricky J. Bison. Isa pa akong cardiologist and practicing for the last 15 years. And I see patients na hypertensive, heart failure, coronary heart disease, yung mga may baradong ugat sa puso, and stroke patients. And iisa ang ano, common denominator nila. They don't want to develop another disease, just like stroke. So, Dok, paano ko ba maiwasan na hindi ako magkaroon ng stroke? Yung aking manhid ba sa mukha? Yung pamamanhid ng aking arm? Ng aking kamay? Is it already a sign of stroke? Nahilo ako last week. Umiikot yung paligid ko. Nagsuka ako. Is it already stroke? Nagdoble yung paningin ko o biglang nawala yung paningin ko. Baka po stroke na ito, Dok. So, they are very concerned all about stroke. Kaya naman, I'll give you three tips para ma-prevent natin yung stroke from happening. Because, alam nyo, ang stroke is fourth leading killer in the US. Sa Philippines, second ang cerebrovascular disease as the leading cause of mortality. Mataas ho yung ranking na yan. And when we say stroke, the brain circulation fails and the brain cells die. And two strokes ang nangyayari sa isang pasyente. Yung loss of supply, which is 80% of cases, and hemorrhagic stroke. Ito yung sinasabi ng doc, naputukan po siya ng ugat. And common cause ton is increase of uh, uncontrolled blood pressure. So, meron tayong stress about COVID and then papasok pa yung holiday season. Kaya meron tayong what they call the holiday season effect. Ano ba ito? Ito yung once you develop stroke, yung mortality rate, yung, yung chance na hindi mo ma-survive, and mas increase ang mortality rate. Second, mas debilitating yung stroke if it happened during the holiday season. So, this is yung tinatawag natin holiday season effect. So, kailangan ma-prevent natin to. And the good news, 80% kaya natin mapigilan para hindi kayo mag-develop ng stroke. So, I'll give you three tips. But before that, merong isi-share lang ako sa inyo about the symptoms of stroke. Ito yung dinevelop ng American Stroke Association. Ito yung F-A-S-T. Madali lang siyang tandaan. Fast. F-A-S-T. Yung F stands for face. Yung A, arm. Yung S, speech. And T is time. So, para mamitigate natin at hindi natin uh, to lessen the disability of stroke, kailangan alam natin yung fast. So, yung sa face, ito yung uh, unequal yung face or numbness. So, pag gumiti ka, hindi pantay yung inyong uh, mukha. And then, sa A is yung arm. Once you raise your arms, there is what we call drifting of the other side of your arm. So, hindi siya pantay pag tinaas niyo yung arm niyo. And then, yung speech, there is stuttering or slurring of speech. Sabi ng doc, para akong nabubulol pag nagsasalita. So, it could be already an early sign of stroke. So, you have your F, your, your A, and then the S, the speech. And important element yung pang-apat is the T, the time. Ano ba yung time? Dapat malunasan ka, uh, matrip ka as early as 3 hours. Dapat mabigyan ka ng uh, lunas in the first 3 hours once naramdaman na ninyo yung FAS. Because kapag nagawa siya within, the, within 3 hours, baka ma-reverse pa yung stroke ninyo and less debilitating. So again, remember yung FAST. Face, arm, 
speech and time. So ngayon, we will now go sa ating three tips para ma-prevent ninyo yung developing stroke in this holiday season. Number one is maintain your blood pressure to less than 130 millimeters mercury. Right? Dapat ang blood pressure natin controlled. Why? Because hypertension is the most common and most important risk factor to develop stroke. So kung magagawa natin na 120 yung inyong systolic blood pressure, that will be excellent para ma-prevent natin ng stroke. Because uncontrolled blood pressure will double your risk. In fact, it can quadruple the risk to develop your stroke. And there are ways para ma-lower ma natin yung blood pressure. And I have that video previously on how to lower your BP in the next two weeks. So, important points done is you have to reduce your salt intake. So, isang kutsarita lang ng asin for the rest of the day is enough para hindi maapektuhan yung yung blood pressure. Second, you have to eat in moderation. Yung DASH diet, so increase fiber in the diet. And you have to eat whole grains. Yung mga high fiber and whole grains diet. And avoid trans fat, avoid saturated fats. So titignan ninyo yung label kung mataas ba yung saturated fat and trans fat. Tanggalin na ninyo sa diet ninyo yun. And half cup of vegetable and fruit per day. And fish three times a week, it can lower your blood pressure. Okay? So yun yung number one. Second, you have to lose 10 pounds of your weight. Nakuglok, parang mabigat Mahirap yata yung 10 pounds. Hindi ko yata kaya yung 10 pounds, which is around 5 kilos. Kaya ba ninyo yun? Mag-lose ng weight. No? Of course, hindi naman siya drastic uh, lowering. Step by step lang. Weekly, you can lower your weight by 1 pound. Bakit kailangan natin ibaba yung weight? Because 1 in 5 strokes, isa sa lima ay overweight. And if you're overweight, you have a 22% chance of developing stroke. More so, kung ikaw ay obese, you have 64% chance of having stroke. So, ganun ka-importante yung losing weight to prevent stroke. So, punta na kayo sa timbangan ninyo. Check your weight. We have to calculate for your body mass index, your BMI. Kuha din ang tape measure. I-measure din ninyo yung waist and yung hip. Kasi may tinatawag tayo yung waist to hip ratio. And then yung waist natin dapat less than 32 inches. Kaya yan. Lose weight, lower the risk of stroke. At ang third, para ma-prevent natin ng stroke during this holiday season, is treat AF. Doc, treat AF? Ano ba yung AF? AF stands for atrial fibrillation. Do ano uli yun? Anong AF and atrial fibrillation? Ito yung irregular heartbeat. Okay? So, you, patients who have irregular heartbeat are prone to develop stroke. Usually, ang symptoms niyan is, Dok, kumakabog po yung dibdib ko. Dok, parang may naghahabulan na kabayo sa dibdib ko. Uh, it can be, Dok, lightheadedness, pwedeng hilo lang, pwedeng pangihina, pero meron ka na palang atrial fibrillation. So, pag meron kang AF, you are 5 times more to develop stroke. So, 5 times yung risk. And, 11% sa study sa, sa Philippines, 11% of stroke in the Philippines is due to atrial fibrillation and ang average age is around 62 years old. And one-fourth of the stroke in the U.S., age above 40, is due to atrial fibrillation. So, very important factor ang AF in developing stroke. So, I want you to go to your doctor and recognize if you're having those kind of atrial fibrillation because may mga gamot na po ngayon for AF that can lower your chances of developing stroke by as high as 60 to 70%. So,
So may magamot na para dyan. And napakalaking bagay siya because 60 to 70 percent, you lower your chances of having this kind of disease, yung stroke. So again, you have these three tips para ma-develop natin na hindi tayo magkaroon ng stroke. Especially ngayong holiday season para ma-prevent natin yung holiday season effect. So number one, maintain the blood pressure to less than 130 systolic. Number two, lose weight, 10 pounds. Number three, treat your AF, your atrial fibrillation. So again, I hope matututo ma, ma, kayo and i-practice ninyo daily. Kasi sabi nga sa isang stroke association, ang important asset of human is brain. So, I want you to uh, recognize, mitigate, and prevent developing from stroke. Especially this bare months. So, I hope you learn from this our info video and practice them daily. And I want you to remain healthy. So, any request for a topic, just comment it below. So, again, this is Dr. J. Bison. The best gift that you can give to yourself and to your loved ones is the gift of health.